depreciation means what decrease in the value of the asset true profit can be calculated only after charging depreciation of an asset 50000 plus addition is nil total answer is 50 on the depreciation 10% means any new machine is purchased extra 20% depreciation hello everyone this is your other sir here Lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, a temple of excellence. And now we are in the session one and a new topic called depreciation. This is the last as well as easiest part of your topic. Now, under depreciation in your income tax one, we have to calculate depreciation for the fixed assets. And under fixed assets, we have tangible and intangible. For tangible and intangible for both, we have to calculate depreciation. Now, whatever depreciation we calculate, it is completely different for your accounts and your income tax. Now, as per accounts, what we'll do day-wise, month-wise, we calculate depreciation. If the asset is with you for two months, only two months depreciation will be calculated. But in income tax, we go with yearly basis, half year, and full year. Any asset you are holding for more than six months, we go for full depreciation. Any asset you are holding for less than six months, we go for half depreciation. These are the concepts you are supposed to remember in your examination. We'll go for your depreciation topic. We'll go with your concept and we go with format. You know that what is depreciation? Depreciation means what? decrease in the value of the asset. Why we decrease? Because of your usage, because of the technology changes like you bought one mobile, next day itself there is one more mobile for the same price, just you can go for like your iPhone. iPhone 11 you bought sir, some lakhs together, next day iPhone 12 launches, then what happens? Automatically iPhone 11 prices will decrease. These are the reasons for your depreciation. Sometimes your mobile get damaged. Then what happens? Your price decreases. These are the some of the reasons or causes for your depreciation. So meaning of depreciation as per your income tax. The term depreciation is derived from the Latin word depreciation. Split into D and pretium. It is nothing but D means decline and pretium means price. Decline in the price, we call it as depreciation. So the literal meaning of depreciation is decrease in the value of an asset. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, true profit can be calculated only after charging depreciation of an asset. If you want to find out your profit only after calculating depreciation, Hope you have seen in the profit and loss account. Under profit and loss account, we calculate depreciation. After deducting depreciation, you will get your answer. Now, the term depreciation is derived from the Latin word depreciation, split into D and pretium. D means decline and pretium means price. So the literal meaning of depreciation is decrease in the value of an asset. Now, true profit can be calculated only after charging depreciation of an asset. These things you have to remember, but you will not get any theory on that on this topic. You, will, you may get theory like what is block of asset? What is block of asset? Like this, you may get theory questions. Now, so particular and rate. Under this, what happens? Your particular residential building these are the percentage like in your accountancy, they will give you percentage directly in the problem. In income tax also, they will give you percentage. But by chance, if they have not given percentage, better you remember the percentage. Now, if it is a residential building, the depreciation is 5%. If it is building for non-residential like commercial purpose, it will be 10%. Furniture and fitting 10%, air conditioner 10%, plant and machinery 15, motor car 15. These two are very important. Why? Because every problem they will give 
the plant and machinery are as motor car. Motor car, what is the percentage? 15%. If the same motor car is used for your private purpose like taxi and all, it will be 30%. Now, patent, trademark, copyright, intangible, all your goodwill and everything comes under 25%. Motor car on hire, I told you, you know, any motor car for commercial purpose, we go with 30%. Computer, 40. Books, annual publication, 100. Normal books comes under 40%. Last one, pollution control equipment will go for 100%. Clear? Max to max, it takes 10 minutes to learn all the percentage. As I told you, this is very important. This one is important. This is important. Computer books. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the six things you are supposed to remember. Now, your questions will be like this. Like assets they have given, amount they have given, rate also they have given. Now, WDBF factory building, how much? 80,000 and rate of percentage is 10%. Now, see why it is 10% commercial purpose. If it is a residential purpose, 5%. Whatever, what, whatever I'm reading now, that is your question now in this. WDBF factory building, it is showing 80,000 at 10%. Now, new additions, 40,000 C. Anything which is purchased after October, half depreciation. Anything is purchased before October, it is full depreciation. As I told you, six months from April, it will start. April, May, June, July, August, September. See, six months. From October 2nd onwards, if you buy, it will be half depreciation. Now, so WDB of building, it is 50,000 and 10%. Machinery, 1 lakh at 15%. New machinery purchase, same depreciation, and old machine purchased and installed 50,000. Remember, for machinery, whatever depreciation they have given, along with that, we have additional depreciation of 20%. As per income tax, recently, two or three years back, it is implemented. So, only for machinery, remember, with the normal 15% depreciation, if you purchase any new machinery, again I'll repeat, if you purchase new machinery, along with 15%, you have to take 20% extra additional depreciation only for machinery, not for any asset. If it is a second-hand machinery you are buying, don't go for 20%. Only if you are buying new machine, then you go for 20% additional. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so we're done with this machinery part. New machine purchased and installed is over. Old machine is purchased. Sold of old machine, 40. Furniture, 15,000. New addition furniture, 5,000. These are your questions. Now, while doing factory building, complete one and two. Complete this. While doing office building, only one. Machinery, one, two, three, four. You have almost four adjustment for machinery. Now, after that, furniture you have two. Clear how many problems you have to do now? So first one, machinery will start from here. Machinery will start from here. This is the first one, there is a second, machinery is third, furniture is fourth. Total you have to calculate for four asset. If there is any opening balance, take opening balance. Purchases, add purchases. Sales minus sales. You will get your final answer. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, Computation of total depreciation for the year assessment year 2020 and 2021. Now, particular amount and total depreciation. I'll go with the first one. Block one, rate of depreciation is 10%. First we'll go for, this we call it as block one. 
So what is the percentage? 10%. One more office building is there. That is, so all put together, it is one only. I forgot. So it is also office building is commercial. All put together, we call it as one. I'll rechange that. This will be all put together, all three, we call it as one. And one, two, three, four, we call it as two. Your furniture, we call it as three. Block one, block two, block three. 10%, 15%, again it is a block one only, but it is the asset is what? Furniture. Now, as per this, what is your factory building value 80,000? See, factory building value is 80,000. I'll change the color. Factory building is what? 80,000. So you have taken 80,000. Is there any purchases? We'll check. So new addition, 40,000. When it is purchased before October, remember the Gandhi Jayanti. When is Gandhi Jayanti? Second October of every year is Gandhi Jayanti. Anything which is purchased from 2nd October, half depreciation. Anything which is purchased before 2nd October, full depreciation. Now, so this is done. Machinery, uh, what is the purchases? 40. Take 40,000, now it is 1,20,000. Then, is there any sales? There is no. WDB of office building, again 50,000 is there. Now, 80,000 plus 40, 1 lakh 20. What is the depreciation? 10%. 1 lakh 20 into 10%, you got around 12,000. 12,000, 120 minus 12, you got around 1 lakh 8,000. Any doubt? No doubt. Now, so your 12,000 will come under outer column. So why it is outer column means we are concentrating only on what? Depreciation. As per this calculation, we got depreciation of 12,000. Now, so write down 12,000. Next, your office building is 50,000. I'll go back to question. Office building is 50,000. There is no addition over. 50,000 plus addition is nil. Total answer is 50. On the depreciation, 10% means 5,000 it will become WDB 45,000. 50 minus 5, how much? 45. And what is this? 5,000 total depreciation. Any doubt? No. So, as per this, your 12,000 is answer and 5,000 is your answer. Clear? Yes, good. So, we got two depreciation from block 1. We'll go to next one, the easiest one, furniture. Furniture, I'll show you in this what happens. Furniture, we have 15,000 plus addition, 5,000. Total, 20,000. 15,000 plus 5,000, you got 20,000. For 20,000, what happens? The old furniture, what is the percentage? 10%. New furniture, whatever they have purchased, 2nd February. Your year starts from when? 1st April to 31st March. 2nd February means it will come after October. 2nd February means comes what? After October. Don't go with January, February. Go with April, May, June. Year begins from April, ends on March. So it is purchased on 2nd, 1st uh, February means it comes after Gandhi Jayanti. After October, what, co what comes? November, December, Jan, Feb. So it is after Gandhi Jayanti. Anything which is purchased after Gandhi Jayanti, how much depreciation? Half depreciation. Now, 15,000 full depreciation, 5,000 half depreciation. Now, in this, 15,000 into 10%, 1,500. Then 5,000 into, so for this calculation, 15,000 into 10%, 5,000 into 10%, but only half. It is 250. The total is how much? 1,750. Outer column, we need only depreciation. So it is a continuation. In a single sheet, I cannot do all this. That's why 
From here it will start. You have to continue. Don't write heading again. After this, below this only, continue this. Below this, continue this one. Now, so from 20,000, if you minus these two, you got 18,250. Hope you are clear. Yes. And the next one, block two, your rate of depreciation is 15% machinery. What is the opening machinery? I'll go back. Your opening machinery, one, two, three, four, we have. Your opening is one lakh, purchase is 60. When it is purchased? First April, before Gandhi Jayanti. Yes. And old machinery purchased, it is when? November, after Gandhi Jayanti. Sold old machine, 40. Sales, don't see the date. Purchases, see the date. If you go as per that, opening machinery, 1 lakh WDV of purchase, 60 and purchase of new machinery is 50. If you add everything, it will be 2 lakh 10,000. Minus your sales is how much? 40,000 and you got 1 lakh 70,000. How to calculate depreciation? Out of 1 lakh 70, out of 1 lakh 70, remember, sold of old furniture is over. Furniture WDB is over. Addition furniture. Furniture is over. Your machinery. A new machinery purchased on 1-4. I told you, any machinery we purchase, there is a two types of depreciation. One is normal 15%, additional 20%. Now, they have done C. Out of 1,70, 50,000 you minus, you got 1,20. 1,20 into 15% over. Next, 50,000 into 50% into 15%. How much it is? 3,750. 3,750. Add both. You will get 21,750. Still, it is not over. Wait. After that, additional depreciation it is purchased when? After October. So, we have to calculate additional 20%. So 60,000 into 20% it is 12,000. Now what happens? Your total is 170 minus 18,000 minus 3750 minus 12,000. You will get 136,250 is your total value. Now this we call it as WDV. This we call it as your depreciation. Now, so we'll add back all the depreciation. First one. 12,000 plus 5, 17,000 plus 18,750, 18, almost uh, 20, 38, 39, 40,000, 500, 40, almost 40, 52, 500. This is your final answer. In this, you are supposed to learn only one thing, that is your machinery okay so machinery starts from here ends here so remember the concept any new machine is purchased extra 20 percent depreciation not for second hand purchase only for new machinery purchased and also remember anything which is purchased after gandhi jayanti we go for half of the depreciation hope you are clear yes i'll show all these slides please take screenshot so these are your depreciation problem the percentages you are supposed to remember. These are the problem number one. Your solution part. Again your solution part. Your solution part. Solution part. Final answer is 50 to 500. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Please work out this problem at home. Easiest one, you may get for 10 or 15. If the problem is bigger one, then it is 15. Problem is smaller, then it will come for 10 marks. Thank you.